anyway, let's have a conversation here. To continue what I've been saying about God not calling us to serve broke people. Um, I keep getting, you know, comments on what I'm saying here because it, it, it can be offensive to some people for me to say this stuff about God not calling you to serve broke people, particularly if you're a coach, you're a healer, you're a course creator who feels called, who feels like you have a message that you want to help people with. And you actually feel like you need to help all the people that cannot afford to pay you. But then you wonder why your business is not working. And that's precisely who I'm, I'm targeting here. You spiritual entrepreneurs who continually punish yourself by choosing to niche down to people who cannot or will not pay you and then wonder why your business does not grow basically so anyway this person on my last um, live stream says it is better to give than it is to receive now this is a well-known quote i love so well particularly christian people i suppose quote that usually ultimately and it's, it's fine okay it's uh, definitely a belief system and it's definitely a way of looking at things and there's nothing absolutely absolutely nothing wrong with that quote as such except it's not always true it is not always better to give than to receive. It is better to give and receive, okay? There is nothing wrong with giving and receiving. It is, it is, we take these quotes and we make them mean more than they do. People live their life on some quotes without questioning ever and applying it to the right situations instead of trying to blanket apply it to every single thing out there. It is better to give than to receive. And then they feel really holy when they say this while suffering, while choosing to, because I've spoken, listen, I've spoken to many coaches, many healers, many people who are stuck in jobs, just like I used to be as a pharmacist, stuck in jobs that do not fulfill them, do not feed their family in the way that they would like to. Uh, well, I mean, most families, maybe you have food at least, but and I, I know I might be exaggerating the poverty of whatever, but I've seen people who are gifted healers, gifted coaches, gifted trainers, who for years have been building a business that will not grow, but refuse to see that, that the, at the root of their issue is that they are giving more than they are receiving. But they will quote things like, it is better to give than it is to receive. And then wonder why is the divine not coming through for me? Because you refuse to come through for yourself. That's why. Okay. You refuse to look and see, is there actually, is, is this actually true? Is it actually better for me in my situation right now to give than it is to receive? Or would it be better for me to give and allow myself to receive? So in response to this lady, I, I said, you know, lots of people use that quote to mask codependency and people pleasing because they do at the root usually of this i'm going to give and give and give thing is a deep desire to not be thought of as greedy to appease your deity hoping that in appeasing your deity whatever you consider your deity to be universe higher power higher self whatever name you give it god in appeasing the deity that you will then be prospered, though the evidence has proved that it's not working, it's not working, but you keep doing what you're doing. You are, it is people pleasing or it is hoop jumping. You do not, you are unconditionally loved. You do not need to prove anything. Anyway, in response, so I said this and she said, and a lot of people use your theory to mask selfishness and greed. And it's true. I, Cause I responded with, yeah, very true. Anyone can use, anything to mean anything basically so they can take what I'm, I'm saying somebody who has that intention in mind to be selfish and greedy can use that as the reason to be selfish and greedy if they want to but you know what guess what they were probably already selfish and greedy so i'm not speaking to them so i don't actually care i care about you the one who is called you allowed yourself to create wealth you could make a huge difference on this planet. But whilst you're buying into these quotes without questioning them for your situation, because you... Yes, I am asking you to question everything that you just take as gospel truth without question. There is faith and there is refusing to use your own brain. 
There is fear that you will end up in hell if you question anything that you've been trained to believe since you were born. And so you keep living to old interpretations of things, but you don't question any of it because you're so scared. But you don't even admit that you're scared. You call it some kind of spiritual holy thing. So it keeps you trapped and unable to fulfill your death. Fuse to question anything. You take on these human dogma, man-made dogma, and you take it to mean I can't do anything. The divine must punish me if I if I what charge people for running my business. Are you kidding me? So many people walking around refusing to question. And you know, in some ways, I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to you because I want you to give yourself permission. You are already working hard. You, are, you know that you're called to something more. Will you please stop limiting the impact you can have on this planet because you take one verse from your sacred book and apply it to every single situation without discrimination, without discernment. How does this apply to me right now? Because it's easy on social media for people just to do these blanket quotes. healers, coaches, people with people with ability to change lives, getting breast cancer, really the only way for that to grow and for me to have the impact that I know I'm
of course it's not. Of course it's not. Every day you're going to face different situations. Every day you need to, you know, decide again. I am called to this thing. I am enough. The work that I have to bring to this world is enough. And so, yes, I, how do I apply these things? Or does this even apply to this specific situation? Don't be that spiritual person who refuses to question anything because you're afraid of maybe hell, afraid of what the divine will do to you. Is that unconditional love to you? If there's so much fear around living life, come on, please wake up. There is work for you to do on this planet. You are called to that message, that deeply held desire inside of you. It is yours to bring to life. Your vision is your permission. You are capable of bringing it to life, but you need to give and receive. Allow yourself to give and receive. It is not more blessed in every single circumstance to give than to receive. So apply wisdom. Apply wisdom before you take some generic quote and decide it only works one way, always. Wake up. People do need your help. But you know what? The ones that will truly, truly experience the power of your ability to transform their lives are the ones who pay you something. You all have experienced giving stuff away for free and seeing that the person did not make any freaking difference to their lives. Let's be honest about this. Stop draining your energy, draining your body, trying to be some holier than thou giver instead of allowing yourself to be given to as well. Wake up, live, create a profitable business where you do treat and transform lives and you're able to take care of your family. You're able to experience life in all its fullness because you deserve life in all its fullness, not struggle, struggle, struggle all the time, telling yourself you're being super spiritual. Stop accepting old beliefs that keep you down. God did not, and I will keep saying this to you all, God did not call you to serve broke people. God did not call you to serve broke people. It is a choice you are making to keep yourself bound up. Wake up. And all of y'all that, that have issues with what I'm saying or you have questions, feel free to question because it gives me more stuff to talk about. So yeah, I love it. So if you are serious about growing your, I mean, turning your skills, your wisdom into a six-figure coaching, healing, course creator business by this time next year, get the Six Figure Spiritual Business book right now. The link is around my bio. It's in my bio if you're on Instagram. And if you're anywhere else, the link is around this video right now. And remember, question everything. Don't just accept quotes as though, as though you are some kind of cookie cutter human being. No, you're not. Question things. Do not just accept things at face value anymore. Give yourself permission. You already, you know, when you're listening to some of what I'm saying here, it already resonates with you. So I'm not telling you something you haven't already thought of before. You just haven't given yourself permission to fully own your own questioning and your own doubts about the established way of doing things. Wake up. You deserve to thrive and prosper, but you are the one to allow it to happen. Everything you desire is available to you. You have to claim it though. You have to storm the heavens and claim it and stop giving into wimpy ideas that keep you stuck. You are meant for more. Allow yourself to create it, okay? Until the next time, get the book, share this video with someone else. It's such a pleasure to share these ideas with you. I'm looking forward to seeing you rise and thrive because the world needs more spiritual people who are willing to be lions, willing to be wise and willing to rise up and become leaders on this planet. And it will take you questioning some of your long-held beliefs that do not apply any longer. It's time to wake up. Much amazing love. Bye.